Hey you guys, what is going on bro? 87 here on Dusty. Now we're talking about the Necrochasm Bad to Good Episode 2. Now this is my second episode like I just said. So if you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. So, the Necrochasm. The worst exotic in the game. Now there are exotics that you could say are bad. Are probably worse. But this gun is just has so many standout awful things about it. Now let me explain those standout awful things. First of all, it's a fast frying low impact auto rifle. Those aren't very good. Let me just say they're not good at all. Uh, and some people might have a feel for them, but I know for a fact a lot of people don't. It only has 42 bullets in the magazine, which diminishes very quickly. It has three perks. One perk is completely useless. The other perk is okay, and the last perk is, is the best out of all of them. Then, the thing that makes it the worst is the fact that it is... A hard gun to get. Now, the Necrochasm is a gun that you have to spend forever to get. Now, basically, what you have to do is you have to find a Sword Knight, kill him about a billion times, and then it'll finally drop for you. Once you get it to drop for you, you have to go kill at least 200 Hive enemies, just go to kill a bunch of Thralls, but it's going to be a little bit hard considering you're using a white gun to do it because you have to get the Husk of the Pit first, and the Husk of the Pit's a white gun. Then you have to level up to a Legendary by getting to Eris Morn rank 3. So once you get to rank 3, you can finally level it up. Then when you level it up, you have to finally uh, level up the Legendary all the way to tier of an Exotic. Now, the reason I say Exotic, it's just as hard to level up as an Exotic. Now, once you level it up, you need to get the thing called the Crux of Crota, which can only drop if you beat the Hard Mode Crota at least once. Now, you have to beat it multiple times, and it's not a guaranteed drop the second time, so you have to beat it at least a billion times or something like that. I don't know. It took me a couple tries. So, getting the Necrochasm is a giant, awful task that no one ever wants to do. So, what could we do to make this gun better? Now, the first row perks can't really be changed. They, they basically edit the perks to be good or bad. They're, they're all personal preference. Now, we have three major perks on this gun. Not just two. We have Cascade, Cursebringer, Rangefire. Cascade is melee kills increase the reload speed of this weapon for a short time. Now, this increases it for three seconds, which is pretty good. It's not bad, but to me, it's one of the worst perks on this gun. Next, we have Cursebringer. Cursebringer... It has precision kills with this weapon frequently trigger a cursed thrall explosion. Now, it's pretty cool because if you just keep shooting enemies in the head, it will cause an explosion. In the next uh, patch, this will actually fix this weapon to make it happen every single time. Next, we have Range Finder. Aiming this weapon increases its effective range. Now, this is the best perk out of all of them because this gun has awful range. It's laughably bad. And having that would really be effective for a lot of things. Now, what's one of the perks that you should possibly get rid of? I think uh, Cascade would be the worst out of all of these. And I don't know why anybody would want to use it. Because it's such a failed of a perk. Now, what's, 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 what's so good about this gun that everybody wants it? It's a really hard exotic to get. So, having a perk to replace Cascade to be even better would be awesome, something pretty awesome. Now, what I I came up with a suggestion list of things that they could possibly be. Now, first we have counterbalance. Basically, counterbalance increases the weapon's stability. Now, this weapon has awful stability, so this would really add to effect. And it's not like rodeo because rodeo doesn't work, but this will work and it will be very effective for the gun. Next, we have <laughs> focus fire. Probably the most useful thing to this gun it could possibly come to. Focus fire is basically the thing on the auto rifle called the Soros regime that makes it fire slower but have more impact. Now considering it's a fast firing low impact auto rifle, this could really really help the gun a lot. This could make it possibly actually handable exotic. Uh, I think that would be the best one out of all these but I still have a few more. Next we have persistence. Now persistence is pretty pretty awesome because the longer you hold down the trigger the more uh, accurate it becomes that is harder with this gun though because it doesn't have that big of a magazine it only has 42 bullets but the next patch will increase the magazine size to bigger so that will help the gun right now but not so much <laughs> um, next perk we have uh, glass half full now this is a good perk because uh, considering the magazine is very low and when they add more bullets it's actually going to be useful which I, I thought would be a pretty good idea for this gun but my last perk might be the one that could be most helpful out of all of them besides focus fire.
Now, Crota Zen, there is a problem with it. There's a lot of things on this that can only be hurt by swords. They're called uh, gatekeepers. They're a little bit hard to kill because sometimes the swords just run out before you even get to them. So, you probably know where I'm going with this. The gun Necrochasm should have a perk where it can harm gatekeepers. Now, that'd be pretty cool because yeah, it would actually make it being a useful gun. Everybody just shoot the gatekeeper. On hard mode, it'd be actually useful and it would be pretty cool. So, you know, it'd be used, it'd be pretty useful. So if you guys do enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And if you guys do like my background right there, it's basically a broken version of the Vault of Glass with me and my friend. <laughs> like I said earlier, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget to check out my links in the description, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Twitch, and my friend's channel. And I will see you later, Bruhas. Get that drum. Go to the Cryptarch. And just freaking whatever. If I don't get what I want, I don't care. I got it. So did everybody else. My video was right. People saying it was wrong. You know what? No. No. It was right. Five reasons why you should sell the Gallahorn. I'll leave it in the description. It is what it is. That guy's helpful. It is what it is. There's nothing else.